Welcome back to Regular Guys Outdoors. I'm Chris. I got another turkey load to review, this time in 12 gauge. Crazy, right? I have Federal's new Grand Slam turkey ammo. This is the two and three quarter inch version. It's an ounce and a half shot of number five. Now what's new about this, besides the name Grand Slam, is that it has the flight control flex wad and it's advertised to work in all chokes. Now Federal's old flight control wad was sometimes finicky and people loved them or hated them. It was pure magic or was an abomination to shot shell development. So well, there wasn't a whole lot of middle ground on those guys. Now I do have a handful of the old version. Same thing, two and three quarter inch, ounce and a half, number five. So tomorrow we're gonna head out. I got some 20 gauge loads to test. We're gonna test these 12 gauge loads and get a little comparison to the old flight control wad. Let's see how that works. We're gonna shoot these at 35 yards, which is a pretty good poke for a two and three quarter inch shell. I've got three 12 gauges, and that should be a pretty good evaluation. So as I was driving back down the mountain, I was thinking, how did I feel about those loads and how that test went? And I come up with a couple of things. One is the old flight control wad did pretty darn well. Keep in mind, these are both the two and three quarter, one and a half ounce loads with number five. Not a whole ton of shot in there. So I thought they did pretty well at 35 yards. I thought the new ones kind of edged these out, you could kind of see a little bit better, a little denser, a little tighter pattern with this. I also think that Browning BPS throws some dang good patterns. Now when we pushed these out to 38 yards and started shooting the turkey targets, I think that's when you really noticed the newer ones staying a little tighter. 38 yards is kind of a poke on these guys, so that's not bad. Now I managed to pick up a wad from each one. So here's the old one. Notice how the tail opens up like a birdie for badminton, shuttlecock, and it has these kind of windows, kind of flaps that open up here. The newer one has the same kind of tail, 
you can tell it's slightly different but it's the same idea and it has kind of these relief cuts three of them around the wad itself my impression of these shells is very positive I think Frodo had a very good product to begin with and I think they've improved upon it with the new wad design and that gets me to thinking what would the three inch version do with an ounce and three quarters of lead? This with the ounce and a half number fives has about 255 pellets. The ounce and three quarter three inch version would have about 297 pellets for a gain of 42 pellets. That's nothing to sneeze at. As good as these were patterning, maybe Longbeard has some competition out there. I hope you enjoyed that review and if you did, Give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. We could sure use some more subs. I'm going to put a 12 gauge Winchester Longbeard review up right over here. Here's Federal's new third degree with the new wad here. And punch the subscribe button right there. Thanks for watching.